The stock market booms as the RBA raises rates. Let's have a look. Hello everyone, Florian here and welcome to another episode of Heiser Says. Let's have a look at this article discussing, well, the ASX 200 booms as the RBA confirms a sixth interest rate hike. And we've discussed that in a previous video. The cash rate is up to zero, uh, 2.6%. It jumped 25 points, so lower than expectations. Now, the stock market has boomed, apparently. Let's jump over here, and we can see, yes, I mean, look at that. One day, the S&P ASX 200, 6,699. It's heading up. But if we go up to five days, yep, that's still good. 3% in five days. A month, oh, we're still down on the month. Six months, yep, we're still down. Year to date, we're still down. Five years, it doesn't look that impressive. And if we go max, it's barely noticeable <laughs> over this time frame. So, I mean, okay, cool. The stock market's doing well today, but we'll have to see. So let's have a look. A whopping 97% of listed stocks have risen into Tuesday. Iron ore futures fell 1.1% to US 94.22 per tonne, while gold futures were up 1.8% to US 1,702 an ounce. The Australian dollar lost nearly 0.5 cents on the US dollar to buy 64.8. Australian 10-year bond yields also dropped 23 basis points to 3.69% after beginning the day at 391 Raise comes after a U.S. agency warned central banks were risking a global recession if they continued to push up interest rates. So earlier on to Tuesday, the Reserve Bank pushed through another interest rate rise of 25 points, marking the sixth rate rise since May. The move has taken the interest rate from a record low of 0.1% to 2.6%. For a typical homeowner with a mortgage of $500,000, the October increase means homeowners need to fork out an extra $78 a month to cover repayments, according to CanStar. It also means homeowner repayments have skyrocketed by an extra $729 overall since rate rises began in May. A mortgage of $750,000 will see homeowners paying an extra $117 a month and 1,095 more compared to six months ago. Here we go. So let's have a look at their calculator here. Uh, and we can't because I've captured an image of the page. So we can't see the calculator. But we've looked at it several times on the channel whenever the banks raise inter the actual real banks that we deal with. Because us you know, peons, we can't get reserve bank loans. We pay a lot more. And, well, we're all aware of the interest rate increases. So... Aussies with a $1 million mortgage will see loan repayments increase by a whopping $156 a month and an extra $1,460 since May, according to CanStar analysis. So nearly $1,500 a month extra. Now, a million dollars for a mortgage, that's a... The problem is you can't get much for a million bucks in Australia these days. I mean, if we look here at... Um, SQM Capital Cities. We'll bring this up. What are we looking at? All houses. Can you get a... Th what's three bed? Hang on. Three bed is one million bucks. Three bedroom, three bedroom house for a million dollars. So if you got a three better with a 10% deposit, you got a mortgage roughly a million bucks, you're now paying about $1,500 more a month on your mortgage repayments. That's what's going to have an impact on Australians, guys. That's going to hit some people. Those with a mortgage worth $2 million will shoot up 311 a month in October alone and will have an increase by 2920 since May when rates begin to rise. Yeah, but if, you, if you've got a $2 million mortgage, you, should, you would imagine and you would hope that you would be in, well, earning significant amounts of money, you would have significant reserves, and you would have other passive income reserves. You wouldn't be borrowing to the hilt just to get a house. That, that's what I'm hoping. That, that's what I'm hoping. That, that's right. That wouldn't happen, would it, guys? So anyway, let's, uh, well, let's have a talk about this one. So the stock market is shooting up, going to the moon. Yeah, but if you look at it over a longer time period, it's not that big a movement. 
don't get too excited unless you're a day trader, but then you're, you're doing different things. And, well, you know, it's scary with some loans are going to get more and more expensive, but we should all be aware of that. We all should plan for that. Those at greatest risk are, of course, the people who have borrowed too much and the FOMO got the better of them and they jumped in. They're going to be doing it tough for a while. They're going to have to tighten their belts. Luxurious or even just simple discretionary spending is going to have to disappear. They're going to have to earn additional income. And we need to keep an eye on retail and consumer confidence to see how that manifests. But it's going to take some time to flow through. Until then, what do you reckon? Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. We'll have to keep an eye on everything. Uh, check out my other channels, Heiser Bim and Heiser Says International, for other content I create. And if you want to support the channels, there's a few ways you can financially on YouTube or Patreon. Referring to us using our Amazon link, uh, sorry, clicking on our referral links, buying our pocket squares, or calling us if you need an architect. Take care, everyone. Have a great day. And I'll see you in the next episode of Heiser Says. Bye for now.